neutral. Here you will find some uh, card readings, Oracle and Tarot card readings, that will give you some guidance along your spiritual and healing path. I also have morning affirmations. They are going into a playlist in case you're looking for some um, affirmations to help you get moving. And I also have a few shorts up there that are um, just little quickies about uh, how to handle things, emotions, just little quickies. And here we're going to get started and see what spirit has for us today. Okay. <clears throat> we have wise leader. You are a beacon for others. Nice. Finding sanctuary, opening to your spiritual source. Okay. Spiritual source. And this is in the flow. Everything is smooth sailing. Okay. So you are a wise leader and it looks like you are coming into your own. Um, finding sanctuary is obviously about going inside and find your safe place inside, connected to your higher power, higher self, spirit, God, whatever you call it. Um, you know, we can find sanctuary just in quietness. Um, sanctuary within, for me, usually is meditation and it's where my whole body starts to slow down and calm down and I really get everything in sync, in the flow. Because when you are in sync with yourself, your body, your energy, then you are in sync and alignment with the collective, the world, the universe, the thing you're a small piece of. You're a spark of the divine, just a little flame that comes from the big flame, right? And you're a beacon, a beacon it says. <laughs> So you have some wisdom to share with others. Usually our wisdom is learned um, through experiences, sometimes through problems or obstacles, um, and sometimes through fun. I always try to remind myself in the universe that I'm cool with learning my lessons in a fun and joyful way. No need to have towers or um, no need to have any kind of chaos. <clears throat> Anyway, let's see what more Spirit has to say. So unconscious is Seven of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Four of Cups, Six of Wands, Eight of Swords, Four of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Strength, uh, Six of Cups, and Nine of Cups. Ooh, nice. I like this. Um, let's see. Can I have one for the three of wands? Swords, I mean, three of swords. Thank you. Thank you. Sun. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. So it looks to me like um, unconscious is you are in, you're in this uh, waiting pattern right now. It seems like you've been, you're patient and you have been doing all the work, doing your internal work, um, healing some of the inner child wounds. And seven is a um, spiritual number as well. So it, it looks like you s are healing <laughs> this um, three of swords, broken heart, this belief in um, heartache really and the sun is freedom the sun is healing so you are healing that that pain that heartbreak pain and as you are healing it you are still feeling um a little stuck uh, maybe you are forgetting to see the this challenge for you is that you're not seeing the cup that's right in front of you you're sort of um stubborn hmm that sounds like me. 
uh, so there's some stubbornness and, and sort of set in your ways um, that needs to be addressed. Stubbornness. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. <laughs> And it looks like you are you are a successful person. You are you are seen. Um, you've had some recognition in your success, and you are moving forward because it's a six, right? So we're heading up. And it looks to me like you have some. Um, this stubborn and stuckness is because you are somebody who dithers, <laughs> or. Um, obsesses about things in your head so it's about thinking and it's about procrastinating not not um, doing the thing the eight is about paying attention right it's infinity uh, just another way so it's also a spiritual number and, it, and you're being called to get rid of this procrastination take the blindfold off you you have the power to think clearly and to move in the direction that you want. Recently, it looks to me like you've been healing, right? Healing this stuff. You've been contemplating, reflecting on yourself and your values, what's gone on in the past, what you wanna bring with you, what you don't wanna bring with you. Um, so things are, you're in a good place. This is just before you're moving out, right? So you've got that healing. Um, you're also going, as it says in the flow, this is the soon uh, near future. And it is about being in the flow, balancing, balancing thoughts and um, feelings, balancing masculine and feminine, balancing um, black and white and finding the inside. It's a BOSU ball, I finally looked it up. I always think of balance, this kind of balance is like standing on a BOSU ball where you're never quite there in terms of balance. You're always making these little micro um, adaptations to keep your balance. That's really what life is like. <laughs> You're just kind of trying to keep those balls in the air, yeah? All right. And it looks to me like um, you're you are looking at this whole situation with a lot of anxiety. Um, and you perhaps because this card is a sign of not getting your somebody who gets information from spirit through your dreams and you are missing those messages because you're so caught up in the thought cycles that are not serving you um, so you you are you're at the moment in that place of that anxiety and obsessive thinking about your future so you want to come back to the moment, right? Remember that within this environment, you always have the strength, the courage you need to get over obstacles. There, there are going to be some obstacles, right? And every time we move forward, there's, you know, a little forward and a little backward, but eventually we move down the road. And this looks to me like you're going to want to call on <laughs> that um, strength and courage and where does your strength and courage come from usually it comes from in the past when we've gone through difficult other difficult obstacles we learn how to how to trust ourselves it's not so much other people that we don't trust it's it's that we don't trust we can survive whatever it is that's happening outside of ourselves um, we we can survive. We have, you have, all the strength and courage you need to keep moving forward. So call on that. Call on spirit. Call on angels if you use that for protection and assistance. Um, make sure you're asking for help. And the action is really about um, being really generous, like offering from your abundance. So if you have an overflow, offer to others. You want to be fair. You want to be um, you want to be simple in your in your decision making and you want to be in the flow. And six is really you've been in the flow, you've created the stability, there's been some changes, but now you're back into a more abundant place and you are um, sharing generously it doesn't have to be i mean it's really sharing your love or your wisdom or your gifts um, but it's about sharing 
sharing with your community, whoever your community is. And the outcome, babies says, you are going to be sitting pretty. <laughs> you will have a wish granted. Um, you will be speaking, this is a nine, so you're almost there, you're almost at the end. And this is really about you have all that you need to bring forward what Spirit's asking you to bring forward. Keep healing, keep doing that healing work. And as you begin to move forward, you're gonna see you're sitting in exactly the place you want to be. That is pretty cool. That's exciting to me, because I think um, we'll be joining together and beginning to create our own community here. That's my plan, um, so that we can create a community that supports each other in this healing, in this spiritual growth. Because we're all doing it, we're all going through it, we just, um, don't always talk about it. So here I am going to talk about it, people. And I will also um, give you whatever interpretations I get and whatever I channel from spirit. Because for me, this is a channeling experience. I have some basic information on what the cards mean. And then I, if I am neutral and release any expectation, then I can listen to whatever downloads are coming through spirit. So there are times that I will say things. Um, there have been times when I've done a reading for someone and I've, I've channeled and then they'll ask me a question and I kind of have to think through it and say, well, give me a minute because when I, that was channeling, that wasn't from me, that was through me. And um, let me take a minute to think about it. So, so I'm gonna give you all the insight I can give you. This is about obstacles and blocks. What obstacles and blocks do we have? Mm, okay. All right, so it looks like um, there've been some, there's been some sneakiness. I see this sometimes as self-betrayal. Um, are there places that you, in your life, that you are doing things that you don't necessarily want to do because somebody else wants you to do them or th you think they need you to do them or you should do them like this is self-betrayal is really choosing to meet someone else's needs at the cost of your own not just instead of but at the cost so if i am allowing like i was in a trauma bond situation which is a relationship where your trauma triggers you get set off you set each other off and um, there's a lot of drama, a lot of chaos. And um, my side of that was I, I betrayed myself. I would become smaller. I would not say what I thought. I would not be necessarily fully honest because I didn't trust that there wouldn't be a worse explosion. So I figured, eh, I adapt, I'll just adapt easier than she does. So I'll adapt, I'll adapt. And eventually you contort yourself so that, you know, you really are not yourself. Um, and so I would make choices like when things escalated and I needed to leave, I didn't. <laughs> I caved and I stayed because I had some part of me thought that I could fix this, that we could just get, I could get through this. And if I just changed me, this would resolve. But it takes two of us. And I was and am doing the work on myself. And this other person wasn't able to do that. And I chose to leave. But I had been betraying myself for years, making choices that were really costing me because I wanted to please someone else or not rock the boat. Um, you know, we do it with kids sometimes too. Like we will take care of our kids at our own cost. That's self-betrayal. We can take care of our children and still take care of ourselves. And that's a belief we need to uh, live with and continue to co-create. Um, so self-betrayal is one of them, the blocks and obstacles to this. Another is that um, you may have been uh, so focused on your intellect and um, so focused on leading that you are um, not hearing some of the messages from spirit because you are focusing on 
um, because you are focusing on things outside of you instead of inside. The King of Swords is very clear, very direct. Perhaps you've been indirect with people. That's another piece. You could be um, n not speaking your truth clearly and directly or with integrity. It might be that you have um, silenced yourself, uh, cut that part of yourself off. So consider taking a look at that. And this other block is about really a belief in scarcity and lack and that that always happens to you. Um, I've been working on this five of pentacles beliefs, like we're left out in the cold. I don't have enough money because other people have. Other people have and I have too. And it's that belief that if somebody has something, then somebody else doesn't have it. It's really not seeing the potential of the world. Like every potential out there is true. There's plenty of money for us. It's just energy. It's just that we are vibrating at an energy that is um, blocking that abundance from coming in. Could be beliefs that you're not worthy of it as well. Those could be caught up in these too. So it looks to me like these are some, um, you've still got some work around beliefs about betraying yourself and about um, money relationships as well that are interfering that's an important thing okay um so now we want actions and advice please seven of cups seven of pentacles and two of swords can i have one for the seven of cups please you king of wands can i have one for the seven of pentacles please pentacles thank you huh emperor okay and then two of swords please <clears throat> oh thank you hang on okay so it looks like um, you have some choices to make and um, there may be some confusion and you may or you may be feeling some confusion around um, what choice to make uh, and you want to make the choice that is in service of the big picture. <laughs> because that's the King of Wands, seeing the bigger vision, seeing from a wider perspective. So the choice needs to include um, that empowered part of you that is ready to bring things out to the collective. This choice will be something that is helpful for the collective. Um, so also take, this action is about having patience and, having patience and looking at what you've planted do you need to pick out any weeds is there anything like these thoughts can we get rid of these weeds so that the rest can grow well and um unperturbed um and and the emperor pretty much can write his own ticket the emperor can do whatever he wants he's a leader he is all four um kings together so he has the qualities of all four kings can be a little bit arrogant so i will caution you against any arrogance um, the emperor can be a little bit cold and full of himself so you want to be careful of that one and regarding this choice that you're trying to make um you've been hanging back and you've been maybe afraid to make this choice but it's time to choose and if you look from a different perspective than the one you are on now I'm going to suggest again, look from the bigger perspective, not just your perspective, because that's going to fine tune what it is that you're bringing forward, right? So you want to see from a different perspective, there's some, some level of awakening that's coming with all of this. Okay. And last but not least, messages from your higher self for wands sun yay and queen of wands okay so you are going to be successful 
in your endeavor, endeavor, <laughs> excuse me, and you will be, there may be a twin flame. This is a reference to a twin flame as well. So if you know that you are a twin flame, this says to me that um, you want to keep in mind that there's some twin flame um, mirroring stuff coming up for you and that you are going to be free of all this old shit because you are going to be healing. You are healing in the process of. <clears throat> and your little inner kid is gonna get what she needs where he, they, um, you are going to find this freedom and this um, joy, <laughs> all of it. And the queen of wands is confident She's very competent. She knows how to go about what she wants. She's creative. She's inspiring. She's passionate. That's you, baby. You're the queen of wands, gender aside. But this is big stuff because we've had um, a few, we've got a few major arcanas. So this is some serious life change that's going on. Oh, I'm so excited for you. I want to do a quick, before I let you go, quick, where are we going from here? <coughs> let me just see. One quick, where are we going from here? Let's just see. Okay. Five of cups, <laughs> four of cups, six of cups, in the world and ten of pentacles so you are moving through this stuck this loss this grieving process into um, an open expansive generous place you will be abundant you will be successful you are creating your legacy whatever it is that you are creating right now you are creating your legacy this will um, stand the test of time. Ooh, I always love it. So if you like this and the readings that I have up here, please like, share, or subscribe so that we can continue to create a community that is serving all of us. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.